Someone somewhere once had a dream. A vision. In that vision was a single concept. One. Every one of the menagerie of sweet, crisp flavors we've all come to know and love. All in one place. What the smartphone did for electronics, this idea would do for soda. That dream came to life as the Coca-Cola freestyle machine, and now, we can live that dream. Now let me tell you another story. Someone somewhere once had a dream. A vision. In that vision was a single concept. One. Every one of the menagerie of crunchy flavors, salty to sweet, that we've all come to know and love. All in one place. What the smartphone did for electronics, this idea would do for snacks. So we put all of them into a blender and made a smoothie out of it. I'm Dr. Bakali Bob the Zebra, and this is a Bakali Public Service Announcement. The Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine is phenomenal, revolutionary in theory. So is communism. In case you haven't seen one, there are these vending machine soda fountains that you find at a lot of fast food places now, like Wendy's and Burger King and some McDonald's. They have a touch screen where you pick from like 200 soda options and it dispenses whatever you want. That is, if whatever you want happens to be a suicide soda of literally everything, or just suicide, it doesn't matter what you get from these things. It all tastes the same. Just a disgusting, muddy Frankenstein of every soft drink under the sun. If you let it run for a bit, it gets a little bit better, but the flavor itself is way off base. Let's say you want orange Fanta. There are no doubt two flavors you're familiar with, the bottle flavor and the fountain flavor. Whichever one you prefer, it will disappoint you. I mean, unless you like club soda with straight sugar, then it's great! The reason everything tastes like crap from these machines comes down to the way it's mixed, so let's get into the science behind that. Dr. Bakali Bob the Science Guy. Bob! 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 The Coke Freestyle Machine makes use of what's called micro-dispensing technology, which is the same type of system used in inkjet printers. With a traditional soda fountain, you have two elements. You have all of the flavoring, and then the carbonated water. But with the Coke Freestyle, inside the vending machine are basically a bunch of printer cartridges of flavor that mix poorly at the point of dispensing with the other ingredients, carbonated water and sugar syrup. So saying it tastes like club soda with straight sugar is actually right. This weird system of dispensing is what gives us that characteristic off flavor that anyone who's used one of these things is no doubt familiar with. To summarize, it fondles donkey schlong! These machines are a failed experiment that need to go back to the drawing board. Calling the drinks that come out of them by any of the popular name brands is simply incorrect, because this isn't Coke. This isn't Sprite. I'm willing to drop a little quality for convenience. That's what fast food is all about anyway. But when the schism in quality is so extreme that it compromises the identity of the product and you can't even tell what it's supposed to be, would you say that's just a teensy little freaking bit too far? If you can go down to the dollar store, pick up a bottle of Bob's Lemon Lime Sprinkle or whatever, and have it taste more like Sprite than a product sold as Sprite, you're doing something wrong. This is a disgrace to the concept of existence. I'd rather drink carbonated cat pee than the inhumane filth leaking out of these machines. Coca-Cola Company, what do you have to say for yourself? Soda is part of the American dream, part of our lives. It's a poignant, simple freedom to spike our blood sugar with the sweet, bubbly goodness of all the brands we love. The imposition of the charlatan Coca-Cola freestyle upon us, with its distorted lampoonery of our favorite drinks under the banners that once heralded the quality we expect, is an affront to that freedom. I'm calling upon the Bacali crew to petition the Coca-Cola company to recall these defective machines and give us back the drinks we know and love. Wait, somebody actually tried to do that? And it only got 14 signatures?
Thank you all for joining me today. For more inspiring messages, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram with the links in the description. And to be an inspiration yourself, hit up JQ Designs to accessorize in divinity. Remember, only with the power of Bacchali can we make the world a more beautiful place. I'll see you next time.